Our universe is a vast network of galaxies, among which is our own, the Milky Way. It is here, in one of the spiral arms known as the Orion Arm, that the solar system occupies a unique position among billions of other celestial formation. The entire Orion Arm has an approximate length of up to 20 and a width of up to three and a half thousand light years. The sun is located at the inner edge of the arm, closer to the galactic center, about 27,000 light years away. The Milky Way is a striped spiral galaxy. The size of our galaxy is up to 180,000 light years in diameter. It is currently thought to contain about 200 billion stars. There are probably at least 100 billion planets in the Milky Way. To claim that other life forms don't live there is a paradox. And if there is no life, it's even more frightening. But that's not what we're talking about today. The center of the Milky Way is visible from Earth as a hazy band of white light, about 30 degrees wide, curved by the night sky. All the individual stars in the night sky, all the individual stars in the night sky, visible to the naked eye, are part of the Milky Way. The light comes from an accumulation of unresolved stars and other material arranged in the direction of the galactic plane. Dark areas within the band, such as the Great Rift, are areas where interstellar dust blocks light from distant stars. The region of the sky that the Milky Way hides is called the Avoidance Zone. The Milky Way has a relatively low surface brightness. Its visibility can be greatly reduced by backgrounds such as light or moon glow. What makes our place in the galaxy unique is that we are at a relative distance from the busier and more chaotic area near the galactic nucleus. The area where we are, for some surprising reason, is a much calmer area for the solar system to inhabit. The star system, where we live, consists of our sun and the celestial bodies under its gravitational pull, such as the eight planets, many moons, satellites, and other objects. As we know, planets revolve around their stars and around their axis. Given that the star itself also has its own trajectory, the planets move in space, not in concentric circles, but according to much more complex laws. The orbital rotation speed of the planets is the speed at which the planet orbits around the star. It varies depending on how far away the planet is from the star and from other large celestial bodies that are nearby at a given time. The speed of rotation around its axis determines the length of the day on the planet. The nearest environment of the solar system is the interstellar medium of our galaxy, directly adjacent to the sun and has a strong influence on the solar system as a whole. The parameters of the medium gas largely determine the structure of the heliosphere or the region filled with solar wind. In particular, important parameters are the velocity of the gas of the local interstellar medium relative to the sun, its temperature, chemical composition, and the concentration of particles composing this gas. Recent studies have shown that about 15% of the volume is filled with interstellar clouds. Our sun is also inside one of these clouds. It has been proven that this cloud moves relative to the sun at a speed of about 26 kilometers per second and has a temperature of about 6,700 degrees Celsius. There is now no doubt that the most abundant element, not only in all of outer space, but also in the local interstellar medium, is atomic hydrogen, followed by helium, oxygen, carbon, and other elements. Although in small quantities, even organic compounds are found in the interstellar medium. When the spectra of stars are studied, and all these particles, due to the motion of the local medium relative to the sun, penetrate the solar system through the structure, interacting with it to some degree. 
The space between these clouds and the interstellar medium is known as the local bubble, an irregularly shaped region of rarefied hot gas inside the Orion arm, which contains the solar system and a number of clusters and clouds of gas. That is, the interstellar cloud, along with several clusters, are inside the local bubble with a diameter of at least 300 light years, filled with hot plasma and surrounded by a shell of cold neutral gas and dust. Also, thanks to the Gaia Space Telescope, astronomers have determined the nature of the local bubble. If we take into account the total mass of the shell, about one whole four-tenths of a million solar masses, and the current rate of expansion of almost seven kilometers per second, it turns out that its formation required 15 supernova explosions with an interval of one million years. At the same time, the age of the local bubble is estimated at 14 million years. It rises above the galactic disk, and as it participates in galactic rotation, it becomes shaped like an hourglass, and it's all moving all the time. But the question is, where? In fact, the solar system is traveling toward the constellation of Swan, and relative to the local stars toward the constellation of Hercules, at an angle of 63 degrees to the galactic plane. The speed is about 40 astronomical years per year, or 200 kilometers per second. It is impossible to determine the exact speed, for the center of the galaxy is hidden from us behind dense clouds of interstellar dust. It shifts about two degrees every million years and makes a complete circle in 250 million years, or one galactic year. What's more, the solar system has a tail, like a comet. The solar system's tail consists of four streams emanating from the luminary in opposite directions of fast-moving particles. In shape, the plume resembles a four-leaf clover. Understanding the solar system's immediate environment is critical because it provides a context for the interactions between our solar system and the interstellar medium. The solar system seems to exist in splendid isolation but it is actually part of a lively, dynamic neighborhood. Studying this immediate neighborhood can offer us a new perspective on our place in the universe.